um, Josh. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh man. And Don't. I'm gonna start crying right away. Me too. Are we recording? Yeah. Last time I did a podcast for Sim, didn't record. <laughs> you know, really throw me under the bus like that? Just First like, ten seconds. Right off the bat. Uh, yeah, it was the same card that was corrupted with the last two minutes. Um, but hey, I can't. It like you're the journey that we've been on with the podcast. Like start, it started with you. Ah, oh, no, and man, that's it, so cool. And I just can't thank you enough. And it's been so fucking amazing to um the other day i got i had the privilege of hearing you play i got goosebumps you talking right now it's so cool I, but it's like this whole the whole kind of journey it felt it feels like your success um and like like our in our podcast like it's all sort of melted into one sort of big beautiful thing that feels like in conjunction with each other a little bit because you um, wrote our opening music. And I remember telling you a long time ago that I was going to do this and uh, and you were completely supportive and you wrote our beauty, like the most amazing <laughs> song for us. And I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you so much. For oh, the, I mean, just, I'm so honored. I really was. And you know what? Like you asking me to do that made me ask you to do the video, and it gave me that like that worth. You know what I mean? That being like, I can do this. I'm, I can ask her to do this because she respects me enough to ask her to do that. You know, like uh, it's a, it, and I, that changed my life. The fact that you did that video, it did. I, and I was I was talking to Sim about it earlier, where he was like, "Ah, oh, you would have made it." No, man, I've been doing this for 15 years, and the second that Anna said yes to doing the video, we shot that video for zero dollars. I had no money. I spent 200 bucks to get it colored, and like that was a lot. And like I took that video, and I went to the president of Universal Record. You know, like I went into his office and played him that video, and the dude started fucking crying because of you. You know what I mean? And that was that was a powerful moment for me to be like, this is what we're gonna do. And it was just it was just so great, man. And I'm I I've, every time I see you, I thank you just because I'm so thankful for what you did for me. I really am. Oh, the, I, I I couldn't ask for a better friend. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, you're you're the friend, man. I mean, like you didn't have to do that. You get asked to do stuff all the time. I see people ask you to do stuff. And you do this thing where you're like, yeah, big time, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, she's not doing that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, like a liar and a... No, yeah, but you're but... so nice and you don't want to crush people. And I see you do it. And you like, I've learned so much from you. This Everybody, this whole podcast is going to be me telling you how awesome Anna is. Because <laughs> I, I take so much from the way you interact with people and the patience that you have with them. And just, I'm just... I, I just, I'm like a, a sponge. I really am. I'm a fan of I, you. And I just. I remember um, like the, our first interaction. I was thinking about this earlier, how we were up um, at Alex's, our dear friend Alex, um, who's sitting right over here and looking fucking gorgeous. Um, and we were up at her, her family's home on a ski trip. Yeah. And. You and I were like the first people that were up in the morning. We were the morning people. We were the morning people. And you would be listening to that damn podcast every morning. Uh, yes. Which yeah. one was it? Was it Serial? Serial. Yeah. And I thought you were having conversations with your lawyer. It was, so, <laughs> like, it was just yes. out. It was I'd like 45 minutes trip, of like, yeah. I call my lawyer at 6.30 in the morning. But it was 7. I would get up and she would clean the whole kitchen from the night before. And it was 6. I remember that. Yeah. It was 6 like heavy. And it was more than 6 people. But it was like like whatever I, you had to like encountered that morning in the kitchen. And you were just like, I got this. Cereal. And like I was sleeping. But I remember feeling like I was so – like you would get up and like just want coffee. And I was like, Hi. Yeah. Hi. You it's just me. want to talk. It's, yeah, it's me. Do you remember me? Hi. Uh, I'm your new friend. Um, what, what should we talk about? Like, the only thing I, I was obsessed with. I want to tell you about with, butterflies. I was so obsessed that you were on Top Chef. Because <laughs> I was such a Top Chef fan. I'm like, what's Calicchio like? And you're like, all right. I'm like, what's Padma like? <laughs> it was so great. Man. Wonderful. They're yeah, both wonderful they're people. They're great. 
<laughs> this episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by ZocDoc. Who gets excited about trying a new restaurant that has two out of five stars? When it comes to finding healthcare, don't ratings matter even more? ZocDoc is a free app where you can compare doctors, read reviews from real patients, and even make same-day appointments. When I finally called to reschedule my dentist appointment, I was told that my dentist had been retired for nearly three years. In my defense, parking was a nightmare. Through ZocDoc, I found a new dentist who had great reviews, took my insurance, and whose office was actually within walking distance. I was also able to book an appointment instantly without talking to a receptionist who made me feel guilty about not having my teeth cleaned for three years. My new dentist didn't make me feel guilty either and only suggested I floss a little more often. Whether you need a primary care physician, dentist, dermatologist, psychiatrist, eye doctor, or other specialist, ZocDoc makes healthcare easy. Now is the time to prioritize your health. Go to ZocDoc.com slash unqualified and download the ZocDoc app. Sign up for free and book a top-rated doctor who might be available as soon as today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash unqualified. This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by Warby Parker. Warby Parker was founded with a rebellious spirit and the lofty goal of creating boutique quality eyewear at a revolutionary price point. Sunglasses, with or without a prescription, start at $95 and, just like eyeglasses, are available through their home try-on program. You just choose five pairs and see which ones you like. I was surprised by how quickly they arrived, which presented me with the immediate problem of deciding which ones to keep. I loved all of them, so you can guess what happened. And not only can you feel good about how cool you look, you can also feel good knowing that for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need through partnerships with nonprofits like Vision Spring. Offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams, Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. So put your FSA or HSA dollars to good use on Warby Parker prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. Ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash unqualified. That's W-A-R-B-Y-P-A-R-K-E-R dot com slash unqualified. Okay, so I just had the privilege of seeing you perform what is it like because you know one of my things is like never date a musician yeah um, i always hated you guys for i that know scene. i'm so sorry <laughs> because it was always you know like that- you had a list of what five people a magician number one um a musician musician yeah but not classical chef, whatever they're athlete. arrogant a comedian, I think is one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um but what is it like looking out it, it, i because looking out at like a sea of people that are like all jumping up and down to your music, which is fucking amazing. On it, I got it. It's just the greatest thing. And I mean, I mean, two years ago I was digging holes. I was working two landscaping jobs and you were so sweet. You were, you would, you would be like, Hey Josh, come over and help me with this with the, around your house. I'll throw you some cash. Mm-hmm. Like that's the person you are. That's your like, and it was just a cash throw around. Game. Yeah, you throw around cash like it's your job. <laughs> no, but you were like, no, but you. But you, I was in a spot where I was like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And a year later, to be playing these shows that I'm playing, to be playing with the band that I'm playing, to be in the situation that I'm playing, to be, to to be putting out an album next week, that I 
I crafted in my house. Like, man, you are looking at the most blessed person on the planet. I swear you're to God. You're so fucking good. I, I appreciate that. You're so that. fucking good. Anna, can I read something real quick? Yes, please. Okay, this is something that I just saw the other day from the journal Sentinel. Josh, you know, when you and I were talking earlier, you said that you don't really read reviews. But I just want to read you a little snippet about a review from uh, one of your festivals. You're doing every festival in America right now. And watching, um, uh, whatever. I, I'm, I'm going to shower you with so many compliments that you're going to want to leave. Well, here's one right here from a respected music journalist. As a performer, even though his Mondo Cosmo project has yet to release a full disc, which is being released actually August 4th, for anyone who wants to get it, Ostrander is a seasoned pro, oozing the confidence of a rock star into the homespun lyrics and organic voice of a folk singer. He wove the electric passion of U2, the wisdom, and a bit of the words of Bruce Springsteen, and the introspective grit of Bob Dylan, who was just playing over the hill at the American Family Insurance Amphitheater. I guess Bob Dylan was there as well. Yeah. But just being compared to people like Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, and Bono, I mean, that's oh, insane. Oh, I so, but, uh, but watching you... <laughs> perform josh it is like it's pretty it's transformative like you and i don't i don't want you to respond because i know you but but truly the other night i felt like i was watching um the passion that you felt that so that like you could feel in the audience with automatic with all with everything <laughs> Um, and I, I felt guilty because I, at one point I was like taking, um, videos of you, but then I was like, I can't, I, I want to experience this without taking a video, but I kind of am, I'm a little regretful that I didn't get automatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's watching a, an artist. I kept checking in on you during the set, like you were with Alex and R. And I was like, just to make sure nobody's hustling you guys, because you guys get hustled when you go out. Um, so I'd, you know, make sure that, and I kept checking in, and R and Alex have seen me play a couple of times, and you haven't seen me play for a while. And yeah, this, like, R and Alex would be dancing. And then I look at you, and you're like, you got this look on your face, like, he's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I was like oh, he's been playing, yeah. Fucking shit, that was is cool. my friend. Yeah, it's that's awesome, my man. friend. That's so. Cool. I, I was like, that. I I feel so proud to. Uh, you should feel proud, man. You had something to do with it. You really did. But dear listeners, I don't think you realize how monumental of a success Josh has become. This does it's not so happen anymore. It's so fucking rad. <laughs> this doesn't ha- rock stars aren't just created anymore. It just doesn't happen. You're a full-fledged rock star with four songs on the radio right now. It's it's That's amazing. It's, I'm, I'm Your really album blessed. is being released next week and you already have four tracks on the radio. Is there a song that you um that you like most love doing? I love playing Plastic Soul. Um I think that's when we went over the crowd. Um I see. There's just there's there's like all these songs. I'm really like I really like hit my stride when I was writing this record. And there's like I the record came from a moment when I was in I wasn't in a great way, and it's so cool because I, I mean I was working two landscaping jobs. I would go to bed, you know. I would I would get up at four. I'd get home at six, and then I'd go to the studio. I'd take a nap when I got home, and then I'd go to work. And I would stay up until I couldn't, and then I'd get up at freaking four, you know, and go dig holes. And it was like, it was this moment where I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play music anymore. And that destroyed me. because, Like music, like I didn't know if I was going to be able to play live again or tour again or um, or put out records. And it was like this thing I had to figure out. And it was powerful and it would it weighed on me and it was heavy and it was dark. And these songs I wrote, I wrote Shine, I wrote Angel, I wrote Hold On To Me, I wrote Plastic Soul, I wrote Higher. And these songs that came from that time of just being like, I don't know where my life's going. Like people now, like they take that and I get these messages from people that were like, man, like we play this at my grandfather's funeral or like, 
my soul i lost my my freaking son to the war you know like like i get these messages and it's like people are taking hope in these songs that were written in a terrible way and it's like that's the power of music that's the power of yeah. what we do yeah that's what you do too like you bring joy to people you know and it's this amazing thing because you brought joy to me when i was going through a terrible time like you really did like you were just you you're this this force and to be able to do that for other people like i don't take that lightly man and i've seen you like go like at the end of like when we do like the live podcast that we would do and i saw you stay and you met with every single person that was there and i remember hearing stories about dolly parton where dolly would not leave the place until she met every person that came to see her and that's you Oh, That's my you. God, you're going to make me cry. Well, we're all going to cry tonight. Hey, Josh, you want to play a song? Yeah, please. What do you want to play? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, thank you. I love you, buddy. I love you, too. I love you guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm not included. <laughs> you're, here, so you're, of course, you're like, you're the, ge- you're the genesis of all of... He's the bass this. player of this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Ringo. You're Ringo. <laughs> oh yeah oh, amazing oh, I love you so much okay I'm wow. excited I didn't I see you fighting in the war back in 1942 every time I shape shift in the form I'm standing there right next to you I keep searching all of these dying stars Just to get a glimpse of you And all I have to do to drift away Is close my eyes and think Whenever I think of her 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 Whenever I do and I see you tearing down the wall Back in 1989 Didn't you see me tearing down the wall When I told you you were always mine The best days of all my lives were spent dreaming of The best days of all my lives were spent dreaming of The best days of all my lives were spent dreaming of The afterlife Whenever I think of her 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 God damn it. Ah, the perfect person, the perfect man. <laughs> no, I'm not. I love that song. You know that. I told you that's my I favorite know, song. That's why I played it first. Because Sim likes it. <laughs> We're all here to make Sim happy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you, <Sim. laughs> Fuck you, Sim. Yay. Uh, 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 this is a good day. Um, when you think about like writing lyrics, Maybe this is like an obvious question, but how do you, um, 
like what would be your inspiration? I imagine you like driving through the mountains and being like, oh, yeah, there's. Yeah, it doesn't come from that for me. It doesn't come from being in nature and stuff. I don't know. I'll be at this suit. I'll be at Trader Joe's and I'll be like, uh, didn't I see you tearing down the wall back in 89? It's like, I don't know. I like, I get these little lines where I'm like, wow, that's a, that's cool. And then I work around it. Like, um, what do you mean? Can you explain the process a little bit? Yeah. So, um, for writing a song for me, it starts like this. Um, I come up with a, I usually start on guitar and then I come up with a chord structure that I like. And then I come up with a melody for me. It's all about melody. It's just, that's all it is. I don't care how good anything is. If there's no melody there, I don't care. And then, so if I come up with a melody, I usually riff on a a, a vocal, like like just some words. And then, but usually if something, if it's something of substance, there's usually like a line there that I can attach to. Like with Shine, when I started riffing on Shine, the first line, um, stick with me, Jesus, through the common storm, it was, um, I'm, I'm a huge Cool Hand Luke fan. Like, that's my favorite movie of all time. Eggs. Yeah, eggs. <laughs> just, just pit pause for a second. Eggs. Um, and there's this great moment. Um, man, it's this powerful moment when his mom passes away. And Cool Hand if you haven't seen Cool Hand Luke, just please, just take the Saturday and go and watch it. And Paul Newman plays this character and he he's in jail and he can't his mom passes away and he finds out that he can't go to the funeral and it's just you see like how powerful that is for him and he plays a song called plastic jesus with a guitar and all the inmates leave the room so he can play the song by himself and it's just like this this moment in in movies that i just it it's my favorite thing in the world and um I wanted some I wanted to write something that would like give that kind of feel, you know, like there's no recreating that moment, but just of being like I'm not a super religious person, but when I watch that moment, I am for that moment, you know? And I wanted to do that. So like having that line of stick with me Jesus through the common storm, like that was a moment, that was a line I had. I was like this is good. I need to see this through, but it needs to be delivered in a way that people aren't going to be like, what the heck is this? You know, and that was the battle of finding that. Um, Because one of the many things that I admire about you, Josh, is like the solitude that you have. Because I feel I feel that same way a lot of times. Right. Like I play a character um, in like whatever on mom i play a character in movies but i also play a public character and um but there's definitely um like a, a, there's a loneliness and 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 like an internal element to um being a performer and i don't know how you do it to be honest with you cuz like it's a like I see how you have to handle yourself in public and it's like it breaks my heart. Uh-huh. Like the fact the way the way that I have to I feel like I like have to Like seeing laugh. you at the show the other night, I was so stressed just being oh, like no. no, but it was great. Like no, it was a great crowd and everybody was awesome. But I was like I'm like, man, like you you can't leave the house. Like that's not you can't go to seven eleven and buy a pack of smokes. You can't go you know what I mean? Like it's like it's I, that's the truth it's we that's it's, a real thing i, it, I mean you can i, I do gonna, no I, I i play a public character i laugh loud sometimes maybe too loud but it it's like a it is a public character yeah. sometimes like if i have a you know if i have a red carpet thing or whatever I, which i i'm not i'm never comfortable but i'm always like go fine i'm always like ah and it never feels like me. Right. And, um, but Do that, you have trouble looking back at the, like the photos and stuff? Oh, yeah. I never do. Oh, you never do? Never do. Do you read reviews? No. No. I was talking to Sim about this earlier. I don't either. Yeah. Because I feel like it's their job to like put in something negative, even if it's. Yeah. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's, it feels like, 
um, yeah, like why bother, I guess. Um, even though, like, of course there is that element of curiosity, but I'm trying as, as like in my forties now, I'm trying to resist the temptation of curiosity yeah. a bit because I, I don't want to be affected. I don't want that seed to be planted of like, oh yeah, this little germ was like in there, and um, and I don't know. That's like, tough, man. I know. Yeah, that's heavy. I know. Uh, we're talking. This is like maybe our happiest podcast. I love how, I'm so I love how sorry, everybody. everybody guys, we're Everybody's so, driving their job. It's Tuesday morning. We're so close to each other right now, too. And just like, <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. I haven't I seen her for a no, while. I this know, is when we I go know, dark. But I love I'm it. Sorry. I need it. I crave it. I, I crave it. You and I do go dark. I, yeah, but I crave. I crave that. Josh, play a song right now and oh. just get us out of this funk, will you? Oh, hey, wait, we're not in a funk. We're in like a euphoric depression. Okay, I just wanted Dude. to play a song. <laughs> oh, what are you going to play? Shine? Yeah, I can play Shine. Nice. <laughs> right? Wouldn't you? Like, there's there's relief, though, in commonality of, like, darkness. I love darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Don't. Okay. Where did you grow up? Okay. And what was your high do... school mascot? Okay. Because I know you want deal breakers soon. Uh, yes, big right. toy. Okay, <laughs> you do? Because I was feeling like uh, they're too, it, like this nah, is too great. intimate of a <laughs> podcast. Oh, maybe. For... No, but jo- Josh is a fan. He likes the podcast. He wants the full podcast treatment. Okay. I grew up in Philly. Um, my high school thing was a panther. Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. That's pretty cool. Ah, yeah, come on. That's pretty <laughs> what was fucking yours? cool. Oh, we were the Warriors. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We were, uh, I was a, like a combined high school, like two high schools had just joined. How many kids? Um, 3,000, but we had like, so. Were you like the hot chick in school? Fuck no. Yeah, big I was time. the head cure chick. <laughs> no, you were. Yes, I was. Oh, oh dude. Oh, man. Yeah. Yep, I was like the quiet kid who wore a weird Christmas tree cape. Did you have friends? Not really. Yeah, me either. <laughs> well, artists, I suppose. Um, but no, we were, so we were called the Rainbow Warriors because- The our, Rainbow Warriors? Yeah, because they couldn't You're decide. You're a gay rights activist? <laughs> I wish. That would be so much cooler. No, we um, we couldn't, they couldn't figure out like, how to uh, divide the colors, the school oh. colors, because we com- the Oh, there were so many. Public. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. But, I don't know. What was enough. the name of the town? Edmonds. Edmonds. Okay. Yeah. And that's outside of Seattle? Like yeah. pretty far? Yeah. Like, like Spokane? 20, 30 minutes. Oh, not no, that no, no, no. far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Not that right. far. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know. It's not that cool. But anyway. I'm a big okay, wait, fan of your wait, family. Wait. I'm, I love I, your pops. I can't believe you're your pops changing. Your pops emails me, by the way. I, I I'm, I'm leading this I'm podcast. So sorry. By the way. Hey, you're checking in on the Mondo Cosmo, my Cosmo sweet podcast. Dad my guest tonight is on first. Emails you. Um, <laughs> let's take that phone call. Let's check that weather. <laughs> now, your dad is awesome. He he checks in on me every once in a while. He's a sweetheart. Oh, he loves our video so oh that's much. so cool he loves it i know he sent so it to all much. his buddies and stuff it was so yeah, cool yeah yeah it's really it's yeah it's um yeah he loves it so much imagine uh, that you're single <laughs> let's give a shout out to your lovely wife aria who has been so instrumental to your career when i first met aria so Alex um, brought her over to my house, and I was like, who is this <laughs> stunning woman who is so fucking, like, warm and friendly, and, like, she's she is, like, kind of a, like a mermaid. <laughs> like, this yeah. is so odd, and... Um, and uh, yeah, she's, she's fucking incredible. Special anyway, girl. Yeah, yeah, and funny. But it's it's funny. It's it's odd to meet like an incredibly beautiful woman who is also really funny, and that sounds very sexist of me. Um, 
But uh, but yeah, no, she's fucking amazing. She's a special girl. Yeah, she really is. She's. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know what to say. I know. I know. Really I, know I know. I know. I know. I know. We're uh, okay. All right. So um, she calls your guitar a string box. I'm sorry. Is that a question? <laughs> yeah, that's a deal breaker. A string box. Yeah. Like okay. you call whatever you want. <laughs> Not a deal breaker. No, it's fine. <laughs> Are you sure if she's like, what if she, she calls says me it? terrible things? <laughs> like, string this box? Is, this is like your single self. Okay. Okay. So I'm single. You're I'm single. Dating these a girl are deal. not Aria. Yeah. Some floozy I met at a show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's she's her like, hair color? Hey, get your <laughs> string box and play me something. How tall is she? Oh, what? Well, how, what did she do for work? Oh my God! Okay, um, what does she do for work? She is uh, she's a real estate agent. Oh, she's not like a nurse or anything. No, <laughs> like we're like going to school for something. She's already set. She's a real estate agent and thirty-two ish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the age? Shit, I didn't really think yeah, you this didn't through. think this. Yeah, you're reading this for the first yes, time. I know. Right, she's she's 29. She's 29. She's 29. Oh. Uh, brunette. Okay. Um, and she's like, "Hey, babe, grab your." That's <laughs> how <laughs> so she talks. She's a handicap. <laughs> the handicapper. Hey, babe, grab your string box. I'm really play me a song. <laughs> no, fine. no, no, not play me a song. I want like I want you to play like. My friends, a song. Is that a so deal breaker? Know. Yes. Not a deal breaker. Next question. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. She has a tattoo of Mark McGrath on her lower back. Oh, uh, fuck. That is, that's really great. Uh, absolute. I think he's probably a really nice guy. So this has nothing to do with him, but absolute deal breaker. <laughs> deal breaker. Yeah. Like you're taking off her clothes. Things are going well. And you see the It's tattoo. at that point. <laughs> yeah, because how else are you going to see the tattoo? What, what is she got like one of those shirts that they wear with the... Like it's, a So crop? it's really down low? Yeah, it's really down low. Yeah, it's on her lower back. So it's a late night thing. Yeah. Deal breaker. Oh, man. Tough deal breaker, though. Well, you can still continue forward. You just don't, you don't have to see her again. <laughs> just straight eye contact. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can... Yeah. Would you ask a question? Would you be like, "Oh yeah, are you a I big would. fan of Sugar was, Ray?" <laughs> Sugar Ray. What was their tune? Did Sunday morning. Sunday morning, <laughs> and your how does it go, Cassie? Sunday morning, and your head up in the shoulder like the morning of your firstborn. Uh, how does it go? You guys know it. You know it's, it's a. Every morning, there's a halo waking up, and there's a woman in my bed. That's a that, big tune. Yeah. I just want to fly. No, that's something different. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll play. We'll not a right. deal breaker. I mean, that's a big commitment to be like. I think if you're at the point where clothes are coming off, I don't think anything matters at that point. I feel like that is a total dude answer. But but let me ask you this. I'm being would honest. You see her? If I was single. Okay. Was, yeah. You're single. Right. <laughs> but would you. Um, is it Mark McGrath like ninety five or is it Mark McGrath like twenty seven? Would you ask, Would you ask her? I'd ask her the next morning. Like, what's up with the McGrath? McGrath. And she's like, he's my stepbrother. He's my dad. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, fair enough. What, is there a tattoo that you'd be like, oh, I'm not? You're single. You're a chick out there. Um, you know, I, I like a I, war um, tribe thing. Might 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 be, but I'm also willing. To, I'm so willing to like give people the benefit of the doubt if okay. like they if there's like yep this was he's a, so handsome that you're just like it's fine. <laughs> I, like the idea of you know if somebody had like the chain link you yeah know. yeah big time. But I, but I still am, that's a lot I'm of your followers. I'm forgiving. Right <laughs> I'm forgiving. I, I, not forgiving. That's a that's in, that's putting it sort of. But the idea that um, that people make crazy decisions sometimes and do you need tattoos? No. Yeah. But that's kind of because one, um, I don't 
I couldn't ever figure out a commitment that I would like enough. Yeah, I gave up on it. I'm just like, I fucking, I always wanted a tattoo. And then it got to a point, like when I said, I was just like, I don't care. I really don't. I'm there, gonna do what I want to do. Yeah, that's what I started thinking. But there's also a practical reason when you're an actor. Oh yeah, you're screwed. You have to like yeah. go in. Yeah, you have to go in like 30 minutes early. Yeah, to work if to get it like covered up. Oh, you got to deal with Chuck Lorre. I don't. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of work. I can't imagine. Hey Chuck, I got Mark McGrath on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh man, that's a conversation. <laughs> Okay, uh, the next one. She keeps her childhood stuffed animals on her bed. Oh, okay. Our bed or her bed? I'm single. Her bed. You're single. You go back to her house. She's like, come back. Don't care. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> next question. All right. Nobody uh, cares about she it. makes you take her, her <laughs> she makes you take your shoes off when you come into her house. That she- does bug me. <laughs> no, oh, wait, you didn't finish though. Well, but she keeps hers on. Ah, but Jesus, she's a elitist. Yeah, <laughs> she's a she's yeah, one of them she, rich yeah, kids. yeah, it sounds like she's a bitch, doesn't it? Um, do you get bothered by that at all? Because I'm sure you go to houses where like you got to go to Kate, Katie Couric's house and she's like, take your shoes off. <laughs> How often have you been going to Katie Couric's house? I go to Katie Couric's house every Wednesday night. (laughs) Right after work, I dash over there. But I assume you go to more places than I do where they're like, oh, shoes off. Yeah, you know, it's, um, yeah, I think it's an odd request. It's a weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. I take my shoes off only because it feels a little more comfortable. But, yeah, no, that's cool, but it's like. But I wouldn't ever. Expect, I wear boots and stuff, though, and it's I, like, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I don't expect know. it of other people, and I wouldn't want them to feel that way in my house. Yeah, you you do a good way about your house. You're you, you're not like that. Next question. Oh, <laughs> should we go back to number two? Number two. Do you want to say it? You say it. All right. Sure. Sim's gonna ask. Sim should. All right, at dinner. She doesn't eat the chocolate mousse dessert because she says she doesn't eat meat. Uh, she sounds hot. Um, <laughs> she's so hot. She's she so hot. hot. She moved to LA. Is she um, a fan of me? Like, is she, it's like, where did I meet this girl? She's better, 28. No, no, no. Uh, no this, she could be 20, one's, this 21. This one's 20. Yeah, 20. 21. Yeah, yeah, this one's 21. And she just moved here uh, to LA. Um, she, and wanted, what, she wants to be an actress or something. Of, of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> and um, she likes the idea of chocolate, but she doesn't like the part about mousse. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bother. I would be so. I'd feel so bad. <laughs> I would just. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker. Yeah. All right. I'd laugh. That's so cute. <laughs> No, no, really? Nah, you would too. I never would. (laughs) Yeah, I would, but I wouldn't have too much patience. I would be like, oh boy, what are we doing? (laughs) I'm sure you dated worse, man. No way. No, that's the thing about me is that I have not dated. Oh, okay. I I guess I haven't that much either. Yeah. I haven't. Like, I have zero experience. I missed the whole app thing. Which I think yeah. would be a real downfall for me. That was awesome. Oh, sorry, Sim. Sorry, Sim. I'm, as I'm sitting next to my lovely fiance, who congratulations, thank Sim. You. Uh, congratulations. No, but we we met we met on an app. That's why I said it was awesome. I didn't say it for any other reason. I feel like I would have been a train wreck on that app. I feel like I would have. Yeah, you you would have you would have done some damage. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. What do you mean? I don't think that's my world where I should be at. I don't know. No, I I couldn't do it. Yeah. I mean, I just because. Well, you're super. I'm so, you're one of the most famous people in America. I don't think you'd do really well. But I, I think your inbox would be fluttered. But I also, I also have a problem like making any kind of small talk, like, or like. I don't get that because you do. You, I see you do that all the time with people that you don't even know. No, on text, you, you can't. You wouldn't. You'd be the worst online dater in the world. 
Thank you. You'd be a terrible on that. Uh, but will you elaborate because I'm yeah. a narcissist? Yes, yes, absolutely. Wait. Thank you. Well, um, this is not a compliment. I'm telling you, you'd be a bad online dater because you wouldn't be engaging with the guy at all. Because I would be just like, can you tell me more about myself? <laughs> uh, would you get sexual at all or would you be like she would say you know what this is too much work for me to type yeah so she wouldn't she wouldn't respond <laughs> oh oh that's i thought you were talking about like an actual like if i went out on a date no like, no, no 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 i mean if, if it was a phone call and then it was all hooked up then finally you'll go on the date but i just don't see you conversing over text for an extended period of time at all that's yeah that's probably true yeah but I also think that I'm I'm bad. I'm not great at small talk. Like mm -hmm. you know that. Yeah, I, know. I that's how I end up like giving my phone number to people I meet at the airport. Because <laughs> I'm like we're best friends forever. And <laughs> <laughs> you do that stuff, man. I see you do it. I'm like. <laughs> It's amazing yeah. when, when you do it in front of your friends. How often when do you we're change like, your phone we're... number? You? Like, I mean, it's a real thing. I see you do that. And I'm like, wow. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But really? I can't help myself. I'm like, I have a new soulmate. It's amazing when we just watch you and we're just watching this happen and we don't say anything. And we're like, okay, this person's going to text you, contact you and you're not going to respond. And then... Because you were so, because you become best friends with the person. Yeah. yeah, of course. That's why I started, like, that's why we started this project. <laughs> so I can get this stuff out. Exactly. That's, without, true. that's a good point. Yes. And yes. turns out I still give my phone number out. <laughs> You're not going to stop. You're always going to give your phone number out. Like, there's I, nothing yeah, you can do about yep, that. No. Nope. No, no, nothing I can do. Right. I yep. do that. I learned that from you. Like, I really did, though. Like, when I'm, like, out and about, meeting people i'm like overtly kind to them and i have no other reason to believe that it's just that i've seen you do that and i admire it so much that i'm Thanks. just like no but seriously like i've been out with you a lot in like public situ public situations and i'm just like the way you handle yourself is so loving and just like amazing and i i really admire that and nobody hassles you because you're just genuinely kind. Thanks. Yeah. No, that's the truth. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's like the best compliment I think I've ever received. No, but that's you. You know that. You're, you're special. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, it makes me want to cry. If only I could. <laughs> <laughs> What's that stuff you spray to? It's the menthol stick. Yeah. It feels pretty good in oh, a fucking man. weird way. Oh. Hey, Josh, we why don't we do this? It. We're going to take a break in a second, oh, and then we'll come. So yeah, bad. so why don't we do this? Do you want to do the last How Would You Proceed or scrap that? And then we'll just do maybe just take a break now and have Josh do yeah, a song at the end? Yeah, let's do that, yeah. Because I do want to hear him play at least one more song. Yeah, oh, yeah, if he doesn't mind. I'll play whatever you want. Do you like it when we – yeah, oh, that'd be amazing. I love it, and um, I would love to do that. Yeah. Why don't we just take a quick break now and then we'll do the call and then we'll talk some more and play some more music. Is it the girl that's got a guy in a band? No, she's no, she's no longer. Uh, she's she, not available she now. She killed herself. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> she killed herself. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm sorry. So we'll cut that out. All right. So <laughs> that was rough. Not cutting this out. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I'm sorry. Right, we'll be back in a minute. This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by State Farm. And in honor of their surprisingly great auto insurance rates, I'm going to tell you about a particularly surprising day on set. It takes me a long time to read a script. For almost every line of dialogue, I will stop to figure out why my character would say it, how it fits in the conversation, and how it's going to come out of my mouth. Between the lines, there are larger chunks of text which describe everything else happening in the scene. Maybe what a room looks like, what characters are wearing, and what they're doing. As I often underestimate how long everything in my life takes, I know I can make up some time by reading those larger chunks a little faster. I got the script for Overboard about six months before we started production. I read it in my warm living room, wearing comfortably warm clothes, sipping from a warm mug of tea. 
somehow it never occurred to me that when you jump off a boat in the middle of the ocean, the water is surprisingly cold. And it doesn't get any warmer on take two. Here at Unqualified, we love State Farm because they provide coverage that meets your needs at a surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by Osea. Wondering what to gift your friends and family this holiday season? Female founded over 25 years ago by a mother and daughter team, Osea's award-winning cleansers, serums, face moisturizers, and body products give you the results you want. Skin that looks and feels amazing. I recently got to try Osea's new body butter, which, like their now famous Andaria Algae Body Oil, transforms dry skin without being greasy, has the same incredible scent, and leaves your skin soft, smooth, and healthy looking. If my experience is any indication, you can count on your partner giving you a lot of compliments. This holiday season, stock up and share your new favorite clean skincare and body care with your friends and family. Unqualified listeners get 10% off your first order with promo code ANA at oseamalibu.com. You'll get free samples with every order, and orders over $50 get free shipping. Gifting is always easier if you start early, so head to oseamalibu.com. Use code ANA. Come on. Are we doing it? Yeah, let's do it. Josh strumming. Sipping. She's unqualified. How long did it take you to write the unqualified song? I wrote that on my way to work the, the day after you guys asked me to write that. How long did it take you? 20 minutes. You serious? Yeah. That's it? That's it. And then, I mean, I had to go in and record it the following day. Yeah. That was it. No revisions uh, or anything? The story of you guys calling me and asking me to write that thing was the most terrifying story of my life. Tell us life. the story. I don't remember. Because I met you and Anna on a, like a vacation that I shouldn't have been at. And we hit it off. Anna and I hit it off. And um, I hit it off with you too, by the way. We all did. Asshole. <laughs> you had a weird girlfriend at the time, man. It was tough. Oh, nice, do we nice. Not talk I love about it when that? we get I'm to not, throw Sim yeah, under yeah, the I'm bus. Just, Amy, I really respect you so much, but yeah, the world. <laughs> I should stop. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Tell us more, please. And um, <laughs> um, what were we talking about? We were talking uh, about how you wrote the song and how we met. Oh, yeah. And- okay, so a couple of weeks after we had like this great hang and we met each other, Anna and I kind of hit it off. We had like a nice rapport. You texted me. Yeah. And you were like, hey, can we jump on the phone later this afternoon? Anna and I want to talk to you about something. And I thought you guys thought that I stole something from Anna's house. <laughs> Because that's the only reason I could think that you guys were calling me or that Arya was cheating on me. So there were two reasons. Both were great. But that, that was is it. horrible. I know. And that's where my mind went on both of those reasons. And I was like, dang, man. Remember like, that like bronze, solid bronze cat? I saw it at your house a few weeks later. <laughs> it's like a, you're like, ah, there's no, okay, a, there's a huge elk in your house. I don't remember from before. <laughs> um, oh, wait, tell it. Okay, yeah, because this is like ego boosting. Please tell us more. So I jumped on a conference call with my friend Anna Ferris, my friend Sintarna, and it was just like the most terrifying thing until I knew that you guys were asking me to do something cool for you. And you asked me at that time to write the theme song for a podcast that you came up with at my birthday party. Right. I take full responsibility yeah. for yes, ruining it. Everybody yes. It's amazing. Like, That's yeah. true. It all comes full circle, doesn't yeah. it? It's so cool, man. And That's when Anna told me about the podcast. I mean, I'll, I'll tell the was story it your at some idea, point. Anna? Yeah. 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 So, I, you know, um, I, I, Sim knows this story and probably our dear listeners do as well. But, um, but uh, yeah, I was like, I'm going to, I, I want to like, I love podcasts. I'm going to dink around. I ordered some microphones and then Sim sort of 
like at after telling people about it um sim came in and he like gave me a whole presentation wow. um it yeah. was a it was amazing. Well, it, it was one of those. I, I so credit to, you I'll, with I'll do everything. A quick, before we get to our call, here's a quick story, dear listeners. Here's how it all really started. It was that Josh is, Josh, it was your, what is it, your 33rd birthday? No. How old are you now? Oh, 35? maybe. I'm 37 now. So maybe. No, no, it was, it was 35. It was three years ago. Yeah, a few years ago, right? Yeah. Your birthday party, and when's your birthday? Uh, April 8th. Yeah, so it was an it was, April birthday party. It was an April birthday party, yeah. right. And that's when Anna told me about the idea. And I've been a early podcast adopter. I I was trying to figure out a way to get into digital media because I didn't like the film industry anymore. And when Anna told me... Well, who does? (laughs) When Anna told me, when Anna told me what her idea was, I kind of kind of started shaking, and I I was like, oh my god! I just I saw I just saw how this is a genius, and I knew it was going you saw to work it right away, right away, immediately. And I did she come to you as like no 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 she I just said no 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 she was nope, like this nope, is my idea nope nope she told me what she wanted to do yeah and then that night and do you remember the scene in Jerry Maguire in the beginning of the movie where <laughs> where he has like he's waking up in cold sweats and then he just goes and he writes the the mission statement yeah. all night then he goes to Kinko's and he gets copies and Jerry you Cantrell night, tells night. him like this is how you hang your balls out there yeah. I decided like this is this could be a big huge career move for me because I see it I see what Anna wants to do this is the exact right time to do it too podcasting is blowing up right now I want to get into it this is how we should do it and I wrote out this business plan I called her up I said I need I need to talk to you and Anna was kind of concerned you're like what do you what do you mean well because you hadn't like I mean we'd seen each other socially for a bit but you were never you would for a while like you hadn't been we hadn't like hung out one yeah, on yeah, one. Yeah. So it was and a you lit, it was super you were out. Like, it was out of the blue I, in the sense that I oh, needed to totally. talk to you. Right. I was like, oh, okay, come on over. But on knowing how smart that you are, which is ridiculous. Thanks. Yeah. God. Oh. Were you telling him that in hopes that he would like do I, what, d- I did what? not expect for him to. No, come she over had no, 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 no. This is you all just, me. You were actually just. I, like, I, I was, I was just wanted to do. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, she, I want to hang out with you. So, yeah. so, no, was so I, I went there and I presented. I presented it. I did a whole business plan. And I presented halfway through. Anna said, "Sim, will you do this with me?" Oh, and, I, I, and, I was and totally. You shocked presented that that a business plan to her. Yeah. Was Why are you that, laughing? That, was it like a, no, I was serious. I said, "This is how we can make this a big did you podcast." Have like one of those, wow, fuck, yeah, those lights. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, I know. I did a whole presentation yes, for her. Yes, totally. Were and it at was, your house? At yeah. her house, yeah. And I, 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 on one hand, I was completely Wait, flattered. What, on the what, other hand, I was a kidding? little bit insulted. You, you're burying the lead. How, why were you insulted? Because I thought you were just coming over to see me and hang no, out. No, no, I wanted to my friendship. Yeah, no, I, I saw this as a huge opportunity to work with my friend. Here, listeners, I just did the most dramatic eye roll, maybe in the history of dramatic eye rolls. This is, we love working together. I know. Awesome. Listen, I know, but you have to know that when you called me and said, Can I come over? That was the first time. Like, we hadn't hung out for a long time. Like, what, three months, two months, maybe? No, no. No, I saw you. Yeah, it was not like, yeah, yeah, come on. But not like we hadn't really reached out to each other for a long time. No, 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 no. Yeah, of course not. (laughs) (laughs) See? See? See what I'm talking about? Another dramatic eye roll. But here's the thing, though. The, the, the difference is that when you and I see each other, every time we see each other, even if we're away or apart for a long time, totally. everything's the same. It's fine. Totally. But so I didn't care about that. Like, you know, your previous relationship and like everything, we, of course, like grew apart. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, that's what happens. We're busy. We do our own thing. So for you to suddenly be like, hey, can I see you? I was like, sure, let's hang out. That'd be awesome. I'd love to hang out with you. It was a great hang. Yeah. Yeah. We started a podcast. Exactly. It's a perfect hang. <laughs> I'm proud you. of that hang. Fuck All right. You, should we Sam. get to the call now? This is like, <laughs> come on. We, we were supposed to celebrate oh, Mondo God. Cosmo and his album, which comes out August 4th. August 4th. Everywhere on iTunes. You can get it everywhere, right? iTunes? Everywhere. everywhere. The CDs? You can get CDs? Get CDs, vinyl. You, so. I was like, oh, I have a friend that's back in town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so right. sorry. Uh, I'm still All right, up. We're, we're going to call Joyce right now. She's been waiting for a long time patiently. She's in Georgia. Joyce? 
Yeah, and I don't know how old she is. She didn't put her age. Who cares? Remember, mm-hmm. I to- we talked about this. I bet I can guess, though. I'm not going to. Still, it, remember we talked you, about it this? Makes, it, 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 we talked about this, but it makes a big difference because where you are in your life makes a huge difference. You're so right. You're right. You're very right. But I still think that it shouldn't be like a requirement. Hello? Hi. Hey, Joyce. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Sam. And it's Anna, too. This is Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. Good. And guess um, Josh Ostrander is hey, here. Hey, Joyce. Mondo name, Cosmo. My name is Josh. It's so nice to talk to you. Yeah, I was, I was wondering whether to call you Josh or Mondo Cosmo. Oh, but look I'm at that. I'm going to stick That's with fine. Josh. <laughs> oh, Josh is fine. He's so okay. f- fucking good. How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm doing good. How are you guys? Well... We're okay. We're good, doing great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Joyce, where's, you, where's Joyce at? Joyce, she's in Georgia. I don't want to say the, oh, okay. the city's really specific, so I don't okay. want to say the city, uh, but she's in Georgia. So, Joyce, you kind of messed up a little. Tell us what happened. Yes. Okay. So, um, earlier in the year, my friend Cody, he invited me to his wedding, um, and it was supposed to be in July. I've been kind of forgetful and scatterbrained with all that going on with a new job that has me traveling a lot. And, uh, you know, I haven't been able to be as available to my friends when it comes to hanging out and making plans. But I am I want to make sure that I was there for my friend's wedding. So you know, happens once in a lifetime. So um, I made sure to put down my calendar, uh, the July 22nd. And... Uh, about a month before the wedding, um, I made sure that I had scheduled the day off um, and, ha- and had that set. I had to bought my dress, everything. I was ready. Uh, but the night before the wedding, I could not find the save the date card, which had all the information, like the wedding venue and the time. And so I felt terrible, but I messaged my friend and I said, hey, sorry to bother you the night before your wedding, but could you text me uh, the wedding venue and just confirm the time so that I have the right details and I show up on time? Um, he didn't reply back right away, so I went oh. ahead and checked his Facebook. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was hoping I might find some information on his Facebook page, but when I clicked on his Facebook, I saw pictures and videos from the wedding that already happened that night. And... So I missed it. Uh, essentially, I missed the wedding. And so we. Th- so you're closer to the groom than the bride. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened when you contacted the bride and the groom? Well, I, the message that I left him asking for the time, like he replied back two hours later, saying he didn't really say much. All he said was, "You missed it. We're leaving now." So the groom said, "You missed it. We're sounds, leaving now." It sounds like he might. Yeah. Be. That's, that's all he said. So he was pissed. So, so he was angry that you missed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming because he didn't say anything else. And I didn't want to press him. He just got married and he was about to leave for his honeymoon. I didn't want to bother him any more than I've already you know, have. And so I've asked my friends, hey, what should I do? Should I contact them right away? But um, So that's why I called and, and had asked the question to see, you know, what's the appropriate time for me to wait before I talk to my friend and how do I make it up to him essentially uh, you don't have anything to make up for I that's my opinion. <laughs> like I, truly like you know I don't know I, I have strong opinions about weddings in general but yeah. <laughs> um, it sounds to me like I don't know what do you will you guys weigh in it sounds to me like um, you know Sim and I talk a lot about like the nature of heterosexual like friendships and Mm -hmm. how it's a little it's always tricky water but it sounds to me like he might his feelings are hurt because he may have stronger feelings towards you is that crazy i don't know that men yeah men will you like i feel like if someone forgot my wedding someone close to me yeah i mean i i I don't know. How would you feel if someone forgot? I, I, I feel like I forget stuff a lot. Yeah, I and I ask for forgiveness. I'm like, I'm sorry. I fucked up. <laughs> you know? I, mean, I don't know. Joyce, I guess, Joyce, yeah. Mondo Cosmo here. I, I forget stuff all the time. You sound really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. 
I don't know oh, if that thank helps. You. <laughs> it do- uh, totally helps. It always it help? helps. Oh, okay. God, it always helps. That's Joy like a soothing, really like, awesome. balm of <laughs> Yeah. Joy, whatever <laughs> you're doing on the phone, you're doing great. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to throw it back to Sim at this point. <laughs> what? Wait, so you, yeah. have, you have no advice for her at all? <laughs> no. That is so Sim, cruel. Don't, don't That's cruel. ask me for advice. I'm terrible. <laughs> The best oh, advice I give you is not to ask me for that. It's not true. You have great advice. No. Always. Nope. I look to you for advice. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I've gotten you drunk at USC games and I've seen you in uh Joyce yeah, just hang story, up the Joyce. phone and just run for the hills. <laughs> and listen to Anna. No. Joyce, would you ever date a musician? Would I what? Date would- a musician? Um not again, no. Oh, <laughs> well, he was a professional dang, musician, but Joyce. someone who did was into music, and right no, I wouldn't do that again. But what did he play, Joyce? <laughs> Joyce, Joyce, can I take a yeah, second? Yeah, totally. Yeah, what Off did he play? Record. Joyce, where do you yeah. live, Joyce? I'm in Georgia. You're in Georgia. That's a great town. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> was he a bass player? What's that? Was he a bass player? Like, do you know what instrument he played? Um, when he no, did? no, no, no. He he was uh, he played like electric guitar, lead. Yeah, oh. he didn't really sing. He just played the lead guitar. Yeah, oh, that's tough. Yeah, that's, that was tough. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. ass. Wait, so <laughs> <laughs> no, because you do this all the time. You always say classical is cool, but anything else is not cool. No, but no, no, this, no, this... no. It's not that I say that. It's that I'm always attracted to that, and that's where you You're get attracted into trouble. To classical dudes. Well, no, no, but but like the <laughs> idea of like being with a musician, like a real job musician, yeah, like is totally attractive. But I just um, we I call think... them phonies. <laughs> That's a phony. <laughs> I like that. Um, all right, let's get back to Joyce's situation for a second. Sorry, Joyce. I, yeah. I think I think it's pretty <laughs> easy. Um, Anna thinks you have nothing to worry about. I don't either. I think that a simple apology, just saying you fucked up and you messed up and you forgot the dates, it happens to everyone. People do that all the time. Yeah. And, you know, take them as a dinner or whatever. Just do, uh, it's, like, it's, right? I mean, it's, no, they should, for, no. they should be forgiving. He should be forgiving. Right. And like, I, I just don't like to be like an inconsiderate person and what it looks like. It looks like I was just super inconsiderate and I didn't care and I just missed the wedding, but... I'm trying. I'm just wondering, like, how do I convey to them? But here's my bigger question, which I know will elongate this call. But <laughs> is he is he kind of crushing on you? No, I mean, well, I don't think so. I mean, we've always, we've been friends for about six, seven years. Um, I mean, originally we were introduced at by like a mutual friend, and like we went on a date once, but it was like from the start we kind of knew, like, okay, this isn't you know like a sexual kind of relationship between us two so it's never really that um i just maybe i'm just overthinking it because i mean i i don't ever like to make someone feel like i don't ever want to like hurt someone or like make them think that i did something to them on purpose like like i as if i like callously you know yeah so maybe i maybe i am just like overthinking no, it. no, I, no, I, no, I, no, no. that's that's <laughs> beautiful that's that's wonderful and that's the way that you know that we should all attempt to behave um I don't yeah. think you should beat yourself up for this right. at all, at all. Like, yeah. This is, um, and if he does, then that means that there's a bigger issue there because he should be able to forgive you for yeah, this. Oh yeah, completely. You know? Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. he knows it's an honest mistake. There was yeah. nothing malicious there. You didn't, you know, it's, you gave him a wedding present, right? Do you like her? Yeah, I have it in person, actually. I was going to give it to them at the wedding. Um, but now, obviously now I, I, I bought a little bit more. I spent a little bit more money and <laughs> I bought a couple guilty. more stuff <laughs> to be like, I'm so sorry. Here's some more presents. Yes. Please forgive me. <laughs> Listen, I, please, please don't be. We all beat ourselves up way too much. Let's like work yeah. on it. And as Josh is playing. Josh is going to play a little song for you. Song. I thought yeah. I was going to sing his song. Oh, yeah. Nah. Okay, yeah, great. He's, he's, no, it's, just, it's like a uh, don't beat yourself up song. Okay, great. <laughs> Don't be sorry <laughs> for missing the wedding. It ain't your fault. Nobody likes Facebook. Nobody likes Facebook, man. Until we check it too late. Until we check it too late. And see that somebody died. <laughs> (laughs) 
。就是。J O Y C E， <笑> Why can't you see? She's blind. She is she blind? Yeah, I think she's blind.、Oh, right, Joyce? Are you blind? What's that? Are you blind, Joyce? I'm a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Joyce, nice、I'm、one,、sorry. nice one, Joyce. <laughs> Fucking way、uh, to bring it home. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna let her go right now. So, any、uh, final advice for her?、Uh, I guess you know, I, I, my feeling is that this dude is crushing on you. He's questioning, like, whatever, all kinds of shit, because that's what happens.、Mm-hmm. But、um, yeah. I think you know, give him the cast iron pan or whatever you bought. Pan. A pan. <gasps> A nice pan. That's awesome. <laughs> Cast iron pan right into the face. Forty <laughs> pounds. Of, like, do you know what you're saying? No. Was, Nobody questions you.、Wedding. Am I the only one that questions her? It was a gift. It's a gift, Josh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody's like, whatever Anna says is cool. I'm like, fucking cast iron pan. Is that what you said? Yeah, but not to. <laughs> I didn't say to the face part.、Uh, I meant more like you know, it's a wedding gift. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I, I think、uh, good friends will be there for life. I feel like I'm looking around the room, and I have a testament to that. That's cool. And、um, so I think a sweet apology. But if there's any torture,、um, like if there's any like feedback that's like. I'm not gonna forgive you or whatever. Then there's something to question、yeah. a little bit. You know what I mean? Like that. Means, yeah, like, yeah. This dude wants.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's. It's more complicated. But things should be simple and happy. And right, right. So, do you think I should like wait till they, at least till they get back from their honeymoon to like send the message or yeah, like yeah. spend some money, Joyce? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. I, like, yeah, I like the musical accompaniment. Most that was nice. <laughs> Joyce, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Jo- where, so where, Joyce, where are you at? Where, I'm、quick. sorry. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, she has a question. Go ahead. Joyce, I'm coming to Atlanta. Come say、What's、hi.、That? I'm coming to Atlanta. When are you going to Atlanta? Do you know?、Uh, September, I think. Wait, what's your website so people can find your dates? Mondocosmo.org. Dot. No, it's <laughs> dot com. <laughs> dot gov. <laughs> dot gov. <laughs> Joyce, thank you. Six、yes. two. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. She had a question. Okay,、oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go, jo- Joyce. What's your question? Joyce, I'm sorry. Okay, so I have a question for Mondo.、Oh. So I was listening to your songs today,、uh, yesterday, and today, and I have a question. Like, just a quick answer is fine.、Um, your song "Shine." What were you thinking when you wrote that song? Like, what was your kind of? Oh man, Joyce, did you like? That's so nice you asked that.、Um, I, I.、Um, I was working two landscaping jobs at the time when I wrote that song, and I was re-、mm-hmm. I, I was recording songs at my house. I recorded that song in my guest bedroom, if you can believe it. And、um, mm-hmm. you know, it to me it was just a moment of don't give up on yourself, you know, because I was going、mm-hmm. through something, and、um, the it, it wasn't written in the best place. And the fact that. That you're asking me that very question right there、It、makes me feel like I did something right. So I appreciate that, the choice. Thank you very much. Oh no problem. I really love the song, especially the、Aww. second verse with the "All my friends are are lost." Right, compare it. All my friends are. Was how's it go? All、I、my friends that, are lost. I wrote that. All my friends. Yeah, I wrote that. I wrote yeah, that very much、really, for my friend Alex. I really did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really, I really love、did. the song. So I just want to say. Amazing song, and I, and I I can't wait till your next album comes out so I can buy it.、Uh, Joyce, can we sell near a T-shirt or something? <laughs> yeah, do you want to, Joyce? Send me, well, Joyce, seriously, send me your address, and then Josh is gonna send you like some merch. Oh, I'll send me some, Joyce. Oh my God, for real? Oh, for sure. I would love to do that、oh, for, for you. Oh my God, thank you so much. I'll definitely do that. Yeah.、Uh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, thank you guys Thanks, for taking、Joyce. my call. Now let you go. Sorry. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Joyce. I love you guys too. Thank you. Bye. She's really sweet. That was nice.、Man. That was really sweet. That was sweet. That you've was got、cool. fans all Beca- over the place, man. No, you got dude, fans all over the place. Yeah, you're fucking amazing. Yeah. Thanks. Before we go, you want to play one last song? Will you? Yeah. Do you do、uh, what do you want to play? Give us the honor. 
Um, before you played, so dear listeners, a little treat for you. After he plays this song, we instead of our normal end credits, we're going to Anna. What are you doing? I'm signaling to Alex how amazing Josh is. Oh, I thought you were like you're like <laughs> annoyed that I was talking. I was <laughs> like, I don't feel like I'm ready to go yet. I want to. This is my got one a little moment. like misty eyed, and oh. I was like, I, I thought you were. Like, I thought you were annoyed. Like I, wrote like, that. I thought you were annoyed with me. You're like, oh, fucking Sims gonna no, say something right now. No, no. Like Alex and I were exchanging looks. Like, well, okay. no, but you, nobody's you ever it? asked like, me that line about the second rose, and I wrote that that line. I wrote that line specifically for my friend Alex. But we freaking adore. Alex, this is yeah, Alex. Alex, have, say hi. Yep. I always hoped that was the case. That was the case. <laughs> no. And it's no, very I specific. I, I, I just. She, we she, love you, Alex. We love you, Alex. Yeah, it's true. I love you, Alex. All right. So we, here's the thing. We're going to end the song. We're going to end the show with what's the name of the song right now? I'm going to do a song I've never done before. And it's called Thunder. And it's on my record that comes out August 4th. And I just, I'm so thankful for the fact that I'm here and that I've I've held the friendship that I have with you. I'm touching on the shoulder right now. Thank you. And I just, I, I think the world of you. I really do. Thanks. And Sim, I think the freaking world of you, man. I love you, man. You've done so much for me and I really appreciate it. I, I just, really do. I just adore you, man. Ah! It's so grateful that I have like this amazing group of creative people around me. I really do. Like I love it that. inspires it inspires me all the time. Thank you. Okay, sorry. So enough about me. You're playing the name of your song again? This song's called Thunder. I've never played it before. Never played it before. After Thunder, there's a song on the radio right now that you have called Automatic. I'm gonna play the actual track instead oh, of your sweetie. normal closing credit song. So yeah. we're gonna end with this song and then go right into automatic Mondo Cosmo. Don't stop. Listen to the echoes, we are breaking on some water Lightning, lightning in a bottle And they are waiting on the thunder And don't stop, never stop believing You were all I ever needed these days Everything reminds me that I am Waiting on the thunder, come on, love. Give me a shot. Cause I've been waiting in the darkness for your everlasting life. Come on, love. And tell me a lie. It's been a long, long year. That I can't wait to leave behind Highway Never coming back And we were Never looking forward to These visions and sparrows falling and No one can remember the darkness Never for a second did I think you were on electric and hopeless Hopelessly remember to the Coming of the thunder Come on love Give me a sign Cause I've been waiting in the darkness For your everlasting life Come on love and tell me a lie It's been a long, long year That I can't wait to leave behind No worries.